Hey there, it's Vaxity. I've been hooked on the Tribe series since way back in 2001. That's over 20 years of jetpack-powered mayhem and epic battles. Don't let that deter you though if you're new. I'm going to help you jump into this game immediately right away. You know, I'm pumped to share my passion and knowledge with you in Tribe 3 Rivals. Whether you're new, like I said, or aiming to level up your skills and you're a skilled veteran, stick around after this video. You'll be soaring through the skies and dominating the battlefield like a pro. Let's get started. But first, let's rewind and let's see why we're all here. In Tribes 3 Rivals, Capture the Flag reigns supreme as the general game mode, demanding teamwork, precision shooting, and strategic positioning for success. It's a high-octane experience where players must coordinate flag captures, defend their territory, and outmaneuver opponents. Effective teamwork, sharpshooting skills, and smart positioning are crucial for victory. CTF, Capture the Flag, encapsulates the essence of Tribe's competitive spirit, offering an exhilarating blend of fast-paced action and strategic depth that defines this gaming title. Isn't that a beautiful sight? Now the basics of gaining speed are very simple. The farther you fall, the faster you go. On the right side of the screen, you'll find your speed hut. In the bottom left, you'll find your health pool. Lower middle, you have belt, pack, and energy. On your bottom right, your weapons and ammunition. Top left, we have your radar, showing both your teammates and enemies. Going to the center, we have your flag captures, enemy flag captures, time remaining, as well as other important indicators, like if the enemy has your flag. And on the very top right, we have the kill feed. Important to know who you died to. Opening up your score screen shows a much bigger map you can use. On the left, you'll find players' points showcasing their contribution to the team. On the right is the larger map, with red representing enemies and blue indicating allies. You don't run in tribes to gain speed. You ski. And what is skiing? Using your feet to slide up and down hills. Here's a simple guide on mastering speed in the tribe's universe. Start by dropping from a high point onto a downward slope. As you ascend the opposite incline, engage your jets utilizing the energy bar on your screen. The key is skiing down slopes and jetting up inclines, effectively leaping from hill to hill to build and sustain momentum in tribes. No matter which tribes game you are playing, that will always be true. You go up, you come down, you ski, you jet off the inclines, you find yourself another decline to come down, and then ski and jet up that next incline. Easy. A big part of the game is moving fast, but it's also hitting your shots while you're moving fast. Here's some common tribes terminology for you. A mid-air. What is a mid-air? It's when you hit an enemy or a teammate with one of your projectiles from your weapon. That can be any weapon. Disc launcher, mortar. I'll do a more comprehensive guide later for that, but for now, this is the basics. And let's start there. Speaking of comprehensive guides, subscribe to the channel for future guides and let me know what kind of guide that you would want to see in the comments below. Another essential aspect of tribes is choosing your role or class and determining how you're going to spend your time in game. In tribes, you have three class options, light, medium, or heavy, each indicated by their class title identifier on the screen. Lights are the quickest but have lower health. Heavies move slower but boast the highest health pool. Mediums strike a balance between speed and durability. Selecting the ideal role or class is entirely your choice and depends on what you find enjoyable. If speed thrills you, light might be your best fit. However, if you relish being an unstoppable force charging through opposition, heavy might suit you better. Experimentation is key to aligning your playstyle within the class roles and tribes. Lastly, I want to focus on the energy bar in the very bottom middle of the screen, as that is going to be a crucial part of your gameplay within Tribes Rivals. Your energy level is directly linked to your jetpack functionality. Activating the jetpack consumes your energy, while releasing the jetpack keybind lets your energy bar recharge. This energy is vital for achieving heightened speed, enabling you to maintain momentum while navigating the map. As you explore the maps and Tribes 3 Rivals, you'll discover the ideal balance for managing your energy. Whether it's preserving it for strategic routes across the map, engaging in intense enemy pursuits, or swiftly capturing the enemy flag, mastering your energy usage is essential. 
revisiting this infographic is crucial. It's the cornerstone of mastering speed and energy management in Tribes 3 Rivals. Speed is gained by strategically dropping from high points, skillfully skiing down slopes, and utilizing jets to ascend inclines. This approach not only boosts your speed but also conserves energy. Efficient management of your energy ensures that your momentum carries you through routes seamlessly. With practice, you'll effortlessly navigate the skies while maintaining optimal energy levels. At the end of the day, my passion for the Tribe series spans over two decades. There's a timeless quality to games like the original Tribes 1 from 1998 and Tribes 2 from 2001, titles that continue to enthrall players today. Moreover, various spin-offs and iterations such as Tribes Vengeance, Legions, Midair, and of course Tribes Ascend stemmed from these foundational points. This game encapsulates everything you'd want, exhilarating gameplay, a thriving community, community spirit, laid-back casual matches for unwinding, competitiveness, and above all, sheer enjoyment. That's why I've dedicated the past 20 years to playing Tribes. It's simply too much fun to pass up. This tutorial serves as a fundamental how-to for movement in Tribes, applicable across the entire series due to its consistent core principles. I hope this video has provided you with a clearer understanding of Tribes, empowering you to enter the battlefield with confidence. Remember to subscribe and like the video as it supports reaching new audiences unfamiliar with Tribes content. And of course, your support means a lot. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you out there. Let me know what Tribes series that you started with down in the comments. And of course, stay tuned for future guides and videos of Tribes 3 Rivals content.